Oh, it's on. Okay. Uh, hi. 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 I'm Abram, the casting director's assistant. Hello. Dad Mara is your name. Oh, you go by Dad. It says here. Okay. Hi. How, how are, are you? you? <laughs> Jinx. I'm really well. I'm really well. Yeah. So here's the deal. Uh, we want authentic talent for this new superhero franchise. <laughs> and look, I was the one who um, sent your viral video to our director and to everyone in my office. So you're so funny, um, so endearing, and you know, I think the whole world's in love with the bartender who turned down Kathy Bates's order for red wine because she didn't have her ID on her. <laughs> And you're so sassy, and I mean, Kathy knows better. So your part you're auditioning for, um, it's part stay-at-home mom, part um, detective vixen, and um, part sex worker, which I love. So representation matters. Um, so why not so go right into it? Get started, okay. Hi, you know my what, name Dad, is... Stop. Don't sleep. Oh, Dad, can Sorry. you hear me? I'm five foot four, and I'm oh, going to be reading for the part um, of... Five four. <laughs> I had done your five six. The part is for someone who's five six. You know what? I'm going to have to go back to my team. I don't think it should have any effect on the casting. I mean, it shouldn't. <laughs> That's a whole other story. Uh, let's get started. Dag, like Madonna, is one in a million. Like many actors born with star power in their veins, this triple threat was discovered through a viral video and thrust into the world of fame. Dag is the infamous bartender who denied Kathy Bates service at a dive bar for forgetting her ID. And the rest is history. Dag's superhero blockbuster franchise, Tapioca Rising and the Stallions of Florichotes, are some of the top grossing films of all time. Little do most civilians know. Dag would not be where she is today if, if it weren't for a casting assistant who wouldn't take no for an answer. When I was in that Zoom room, when I first met Dagmara, who you all know as Dag, I never imagined we'd be shattering a glass ceiling when it comes to the representation of shorter actors. Um, especially with Dag being 5'4", for a part that was actually 5'6". This franchise, Tapioca Rising and the Stallions of Florichotes, uh, would not be the mega, mega billion dollar franchise that it is without our star, Dag. Things that were anti-Semitic. Anti -Semitic. Trying to parse this soundbite which we're about to play for you. Who even are the Academy? I'll tell you who they are. They're the gay mafia and the Jew-run media, and they're not conspiring the against me and all... <sighs> Dag, it's Abram. You need to call me back. Why did you post that video? I, I told you that stuff about Jewish people and gays and confidence, and we're supposed to be at the Kids' Choice Awards tonight, and I just got fired. Call me back. Oh, wow. Well, well, I think I just fucked things up. Your career and mine, yeah. Yeah. Well, I paid that stylist 500 bucks so I could wear this Bob Mackie original so I could go to the Kids' Choice Awards and get booed off the red carpet by a bunch of 12-year-olds. Everything was perfect, and I ruined it. What is that? Why did I do that? It's partly me. I gave you a bunch of false hope and a business that's pretty hopeless. Well, at least we have this. And that cocaine Ezra Miller sold us at the Met Gala. Well, it's probably laced with something. Somehow I knew. You did? I thought you were just waiting for a rainy day. I did a little bit in my car earlier. I don't know, I feel like it's you and me who have to change. Probably Ezra too. Although I should focus on me. And you. I love you. I still think your viral video with Kathy Bates is one of the funniest fucking things I've ever seen. This is the greatest love of all time. Yes, ma'am. Us. I'm actually kind of coked up, so I'm not going to drink any, but yeah, to us.